Welcome back, Psych2Goers. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. And we wanna thank you for that, so thanks. Now, let's continue. You receive your report card in the mail. With hesitation, you open the envelope and read out your doom. It's an F in not one, but two classes. Okay, so you're not the greatest at math or art history, but does that mean you're not intelligent? Your GPA isn't the only way to measure your intelligence. In 1983, Howard Gardner, an American developmental psychologist, came up with nine types of intelligence that people can have. Each category is an area you may excel in, and you may be intelligent in more than one category. Here are the nine types of intelligence, according to psychologist Howard Gardner. Which type are you? Number one, naturalist intelligence. If you have a naturalist type of intelligence, then you may have a knack for identifying patterns in your natural surroundings. You're sensitive to the environment and can benefit as a hunter, gatherer, or farmer. This was a vital form of intelligence for our ancestors who needed to hunt and survive to provide for their people out in the wilderness on their own. Number two, musical intelligence. Do you have a calling towards music? Can you pick up a new instrument with ease? Do you possibly also write and arrange your own music? With musical intelligence, you can discern the tone, rhythm, and pitch of the music you're listening to. You can easily repeat or recall a phrase or piece of music from what you've heard and can usually play instruments by ear. You have an ear for sound and music that others do not. Pencil drummers and musical theater singers unite. Number three, logical mathematical intelligence. With this type of intelligence, you're often caught in abstract, symbolic thought. Formulas and reasoning skills are your expertise. In reasoning, you often use inductive and deductive thinking patterns. Not only do you love strategy games and math problems, but odds are you've been begging your older siblings to participate in your wacky science experiments for years now. You'd excel as a mathematician, detective, or scientist. Number four, existential intelligence. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? If you're an existential intellect, you indulge yourself in life's existential questions. Although these questions may not have a definitive answer, your philosophical mind keeps you up at night and your theories are probably worthy enough to be published. Your thoughts, ideas, and hypotheses are all centered around life and the symbolic meaning of it all. Why are we here? What is our purpose? What does it all mean? Why am I asking so many questions? Number five, interpersonal intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence means that you just get people. You find it easy to take into account the different sides of a story and are open to different perspectives and willing to put yourself in another's shoes. You read others' emotions well, and you can quickly tell if someone is being genuine or not. You are empathetic and great at socializing with others on a deeper level. You would do great in the field of social work as a teacher or perhaps an actor. Number six, bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Do you feel that your mind and body are one? Can you tap into this energy directly? You are a special soul who uses the power of mind and body in unison to achieve your goals. Basically, you're great with timing, motor skills, athletics, and dancing. Perhaps you are a great dancer, or maybe you excel in the athletic field. You may even have the talents to be a great surgeon. Whatever it is, your mind and body are one in harmony, and your physical skills are unmatched by your friends. Number seven, linguistic intelligence. Do you have a vast vocabulary? Do you think in deep thoughts or internal monologues? Can you understand and pick up the subtle differences in the meaning of words and language? With this type of intelligence, you enjoy reading, writing, and find the beauty in language and words. Foreign languages come easily to you, and you learn new words faster than others. A lot of linguistic intellects work as journalists, poets, novelists, and public speakers. Number eight, intrapersonal intelligence. Have people always called you quiet? You consider yourself a deep, emotional thinker. You are probably at one with yourself. Your mind is your safe haven, and you understand your thoughts and feelings on a deeper level than most. You're aware of who you are and what you want, and you know how to change yourself for the better. You can motivate yourself by being your own motivational coach. 
You make goals and can achieve them faster and easier because of how attuned you are with what you want and accepting of who you are. If you have interpersonal intelligence, you might make a great psychologist, philosopher, or spiritual guide. And number nine, spatial intelligence. Are you great with directions and are a strong visual learner? With spatial intelligence, you enjoy solving puzzles and mazes and excel in creative drawing and painting pursuits. Your thought process is in three dimensions and you may have artistic skill and expansive imagination because of this. If you possess spatial intelligence, you may do wonders as a sculptor, painter, sailor, pilot, or architect. What type of intelligence do you think you are? Did any of them jump out at you? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.